Um, there we go. And when I'm writing these problems down from the book, I list them like this. Because I've told you over a little, and this makes me at least which ones are yep. parallel. Because the slopes are lined up. Which ones are parallel? Y plus plus this y one plus and y. this one. Yeah. Or you could circle them. Why isn't this one? Well, this one has zero slope. Copyright. Uh, we were watching some Olympics in second period. Sorry about that. Okay, let's try number three. Y equals three fourths X minus one. Y equals negative two X. Y equals, oh, nope, this one's not ready to go in there, is it? For number three, that third equation says Y minus three is equal to three fourths times X minus five. I have to convert that before I can write it into my set. Because right now it's in slope, point slope form. So y minus 3 is equal to 3 fourths x minus 15 over 4. Okay, at this point, I don't even feel like I have to finish it. By adding this 3 to the 15 over 4, is that going to change the 3 fourths x? So this one is equivalent with this one. And then there's another equation there that says y minus 4 equals negative 2x plus 2. y minus 4 is going to be equal to negative 2x plus 2. This one has a negative 2x and so does this one. So these two are parallel with each other. You can just use some form of notation to show which ones match. This one has two sets of parallels, but they're different from each other. These two go together, and these two go together. Okay? I don't even need to finish this to get this completely to y equals mx plus b, because this 4 is going to get added to this 2, and it's going to leave that negative 2x alone. I just need to make sure that this and this match. We're going to skip down to five and identify which lines are perpendicular. Y equals two thirds X minus four. Y equals negative three halves X plus two. y equals negative 1, and x equals 3. To find if they're perpendicular, I'm going to take the slopes, multiply them, and see if I get negative 1. I'm looking for those reciprocals, and it looks like I have it right here. Neither one of these works. These are in forms that tell you they're either going to be 0 or undefined. So we know it's not these. We just need to test, is 2 thirds times negative 3 halves equal to negative 1? And I get negative 6 over 6, which is equal to negative 1. So these two are perpendicular. Make sense? Why aren't you guys writing this in your notebook? I did. Okay. Junior? Okay, so you're going to have a few more problems that are like that. And then we're going to have some problems where you're given an equation and you have to write another equation that is either parallel or perpendicular to that. So if you turn the page, we're going to do number 22 together. Number 22 says y is equal to 3x minus 7, and they're giving us 0, 4 as a point.
We know that our slope is five. And we know it's gonna be crossing where on a graph? At zero comma four. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be crossing here. No, that can't be right. I did that wrong. Zero comma four. That is so weird. Why would that Wait. say negative seven? Oh, never mind. This is where we want this to cross. Okay, oh, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. So we're we're gonna graph this first one. And then we're gonna have to go backwards. And we're gonna go up one, two, three, and over one. And then we want to graph a second line that matches it. Oh, I see. Oh, so it's parallel. Because they're parallel. Hold on. So, so is this zero and four? What are those for? Because that's our original line. This is our original line here. This is my new line. This point was my y-axis, or y-intercept. And the equation for that would be y equals 3x plus 4. Let's do another one so it's not as confusing as I made that out to be. Okay, let's try 23. It says, and I don't even think you need to graph this to do this, y is equal to 1 half x plus 5. And we want to write a line that goes through 4 comma negative 3. And as always, there's a couple different ways to do this. One, you could graph it. And you could make a point at 4, negative 3, and you could use 1 over 2 and find the line. The other way is I could rewrite this equation and put this x and y in and find the plus b. So if I rewrite this as y is negative 3 is equal to 1 half times this x plus b, if I simplify that, I'm going to find the b. What's 1 half times 4? So negative 3 is equal to 2 plus b. Negative 3 and negative 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 equals b. So my matching equation for this point is going to be y is equal to 1 half x minus 5. These two are parallel to each other. And I'm not going to give you any to practice today like that for perpendicular. We'll do that separate. Okay? So, practice problems today. We are starting on 365 and going to 366. You're going to be doing problems 9 through 11. 13 through 15, 15. And then on 366, you're doing 25 to 30. Uh, I'll be honest, I need to see you guys really digging in and trying to get this done. These are going to be just like the first ones where you're making a list and you're saying if they're parallel or per perpendicular. These down here are going to be like these last two and that's really what I want you starting on before you leave today because I think that's where you might need help. Okay?